<laughs> and Cabo Fee pretty much missed his flight out. Oh, yikes, my man. Yeah, yeah, I was man, thinking about it. He's for putting $100 on, onto the limit. Mind you, you guys? can do it since Oh, but, uh, sorry about that. Watching some Marvel, man. Oh, I love that game, Marvel 2. I've been watching it since this morning because I missed I've got my resident sleeper on, like, IFC Yards having a stream on Twitch TV. Some classic, fantastical, magical battles on Marvel 2. I love it. Anyone that knows me from the old arcade days knows Marvel 2. That was my game. I played that game religiously. So to see that game, beautiful. By the best player on Marvel 2. So good. Anyway, sorry about that. I'm going to talk about games and where games are going right now. Um, and specifically, we're going to talk about games like Bayonetta. I'm going to Eurogamer Expo tomorrow because, you know, as I haven't been about, as I've done any videos, I feel bad about that. You know, because you, the Warriors, you help me, you support me, I, I help you, you help me, we help each other. Getting bodied by, like, work, got a new girlfriend. So, you know, I've been just getting bodied by life in general. I'm back, I wanted to do a video and say, yeah, let's talk about things. Now, first of all, I want to talk about the perspective which I'm coming from. Because I play multiple different types of games. I'm not just one type of player that plays a game like driving games or action games or anything like that. I play all sorts. I play games like... Crisis Core. I bet my Crisis Core. This gear. Resident Evil Zero. Like, I, look, I even play, I even like to roll around the dirt from time to time and play trash. Thank you, sweetest babe 21 for subscribing. Thank you very much. Splinter Cell, Blacklist, Marvel's Capcom 3, Devil May Cry, Spawn, Star Gladiator, Mass Effect, Beautiful Joe. I play all sorts of games. I'm not one type of player that plays only one genre, right? So I'm very open-minded when it comes to games. When I see games market being dominated by games like Call of Duty for 10 years, where they don't even attempt anything at innovation, and the only attempt that they make at innovation is when they copy another game, aka Titanfall, you know, dynamics and stuff like that. Nothing. It's all about the movie aspect. You know, games like Quantum Break. I'm sorry, I'm watching the Edge of Tomorrow. The film is godlike. Tom Cruise, watch it. Trust me, the film is sick. You know, it's just it's, it's based off a manga called All You Need Is Kill. So, top tier, watch it. Trust me. I'm just sad how games with innovation and creativity is getting... I need to pause it, because that's just so distracting. It's like all these type of games are dominating where beautiful games with depth are just getting bopped and people are just not paying attention and the people that make the games are not engaging with the audience properly or they're not presented the games in a correct way you know like Bayonetta 2 for example that game is absolutely godlike I don't know if you played the first Bayonetta where are you Bayo? Bayo's never far away from me where are you Bayo? don't hide from me baby don't hide from me Bayo don't hurt from me if you ever played this game, this is one of the best games ever made. How can anyone bought it? It sold like just under 2 million units. Nobody bought it and the game is absolutely godlike. The system is so crisp. When you play a game like God of War, right? You'll go through that game once. Once you've read the, you know, you know the story and then seen the narrative and everything like that and done all the executions and all this kind of like garbage in it, you will never play that game again. Because there's nothing else to play other than the fact that you like you, you like all the weapons and you want to play through the game again. Why you'd want to do that, I don't know. But when you play a game like Bayonetta or Devil May Cry or mostly like Japanese games, yeah. And let's admit, this is true. Yeah, when you play that type of games, those are games where you can play again and again and again and again. And you always find out something new because the game is layered with depth. For example, Marvel will put out a game. And Marvel will let Capcom put out a game. Marvel's made Ultimate Marvel's Capcom 3. That game came out in 2009. People are still playing that game today. Today people are still playing it. I find out new things about that game. Because the game has got so much mechanics, so much depth to it. They'll release another game like, I don't know, that Infinity game. Marvel Universe Point 2 Infinity. 
people play that game, enjoy it because it looks so cutesy cutesy, and people drop it because it's just about cutting through stages and this, that, and the other. There's nothing else to it other than enjoying what the worlds are and how it looks, you know. And that would, so it will basically will die in about a year. Well, you'll have a game like Marvel's Capcom, which will go on and on and on because people find out new things. Now, don't you want a game like that? Don't you want all games to be filled with depth instead of just being about shooting the movie? cinematics just being a an interactive movie you're being passively entertained that is so boring if we don't help certain games they'll die so many studios and genres are already dying because people are not supporting those games you have to support these games people if you don't support these games they'll fade away and it'll be a terrible tragedy games like bayonetta 2 you have to get behind a game like bayonetta 2 and just for the right reasons, not just to support it just because you want it to be successful, because it's a good game, it's a legitimate game, you know, I'm going to go to the Euro game and to tap buttons on Bayonetta and the Evil Within, um, and I think that's all I'm really going to play, I might tap some buttons on other games, but those are two games I'm really focused on, but I just feel like it's very important to look at the perspective here, when you look at games like The Order, Quantum Break, um, Call of Duty, Warfare, Advanced Warfare, whatever it's called, yeah? Where it's just about set pieces, movie sequences, controlled movie sequences, and interactive moments being passively entertained by nonsensical propaganda and bollocks. Is that gaming? That's just people that want to be movie directors or movie, they want to make films, but they're just not talented to make films. Or they don't have the budget or couldn't be, can't be trusted to make films. So they make video games instead. You know, so I would urge you just tomorrow I'm going to be doing like my coverage of Eurogamer Expo. And I'll be talking about all these type of games and everything. This is just a quick video just to talk about what I'm going to be addressing with Bayonetta and telling you about the kind of games that I'm into and stuff like that because I haven't done that and you know I've just been talking about movies because I've been getting invited to all these type of movie premieres which I haven't been but I've still been getting invites to all these films but I just haven't been able to go you know because of like trying to fix up my house and stuff like that I've got a new kitchen you know so I'm enjoying that new kitchen cooking for no reason <laughs> because I can you know and just all this type of stuff so I've just, just been getting bodied but I'm still here I'm still making videos, I'm here for you warriors, as long as you're here for me, we're going to keep on doing this thing. Yeah, I feel good, I hope you're feeling good too. And until my next video warriors, take care. Let's see how it goes, and that's your first time.